bell can only mean one thing. Sit. Stay. You're on YouTube, man. What's up, What's up man? Yeah, it's almost like Christmas in this house right now. You ready for this? Oh, can we, man? Check it out, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, man. I'm gonna, oh, let, I'm gonna let you do the honors here, right? Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Unboxing, yeah, the unboxing. Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Christmas Day. In oh, a Christmas man. package as well. We got our air. All right, we'll get into the good stuff here, man. This oh. is what the people look. Or can't even wait. Look. Oh yeah, man. Look uh, at that. That's what it's all about. Wait, let's focus here. Oh man, get some focus oh, action there. Man, six. Oh, hang on, wait. Six grams of citrulline, <laughs> my late. I think you just saw this here, but look at the scales of that after obtaining. Touch screen. Touch check screen, man, check this out, man. You're moving tap, forward, man. It tap, it comes on, you put it there, but look, it doesn't go to zero. You want to tear that stuff? Is this you new? tap. This is brand new, man, yeah? Yeah. Tap and bang. Goes to zero. Right, so we're going to start off with pre gym. So you got you to gotta measure this stuff pre workout. That's you right. You want man. all that caffeine. Like we were saying in the last video, which you can go check out. Yeah. If you want some caffeine. Noel's uh, one and only supplement if you could take oh, with them. Oh, and then a, a tip actually, man. A lot of people don't know to see, like, if you buy a proper good pre-workout, it's going to have lots of ingredients on it. You got to shake that bitch up. Exactly, yeah, because yeah. the ingredients, like, sell and stuff, so you just get, like, a big... Yeah, you don't want to get you don't get more one ingredient than the other. That's right, man. Yeah. So you need to give it a good shake. Shake that bitch up, man. Oh, yeah. So you give it a good shake. I think, I think you're shaking the life out, man. Get me pump on before the workout. Right, yeah, so it'll be well shaken up by there. Right, Open here we that go, man. Up, and then just 26.5 grams is what we're looking for here. Does that go to 0.5? It doesn't, man, but sure, look. Well, you know what he says. You gotta says, go do to what you gotta do. He says, go to 27, man. If you of course, he says that, man, because he wants you to, to, you want to more, buy more, more and shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, basically, when you pour your pre workout in there, it's all lumpy and everything, and you want it to kind of become more soluble than. Oh, I don't got this one. I got it, John. You got it. All right. So here, here's what we're gonna do, man. All right. So you got this. Is your shake, man. Yeah. That's it, man. So see the way it's just kind of like sitting there doing nothing. Some of the sub, so, so that, some of the substances and the yeah. ingredients need to dissolve into water. If they don't dissolve, then they become all clumpy, as you're probably seeing in a couple of like drinks and stuff you may have had. And then they don't get utilized by the body. Well, they do. They just take a long, longer time to absorb. Yeah. So like if it's all clumpy, it's gonna go all the way down to the stomach and the intestine, then it has to pass through the intestine wall before it goes into the blood and broken down even further before you use it. But if uh, an ingredient is in solution in water, then it becomes into the fluid. And uh, I don't know if you've heard of osmosis. Osmosis is the passage of water from an area of high concentration to low concentration. And that happens very quickly. So if uh, an ingredient is in water, that will happen and you'll absorb the ingredient quicker. All right, man, so next up, we're gonna add some deck strokes to our uh, post-workout stack here. And why are we adding deck strokes, man? To spike insulin levels so that we're driving the nutrients into the blood, into the muscle cells. That's right, man, so yeah. I've got, and it's also uh, restocking uh, glycogen. Oh, and also, like, this stuff is expensive. Yeah? Oh yeah man, top yeah. of the top market. So here's the thing, you don't actually need all this stuff. Yeah, but if you can afford it. It's a supplement, and yeah. it supplements your diet, and supplements the gains. That's right man. You don't need them, you don't need them. You don't need them, but if you can afford them man, and uh, if you don't have time, they're convenient. That's, that's the one, yeah. yeah. So last thing to go in now is the all important protein. Protein? Yeah. And not right. just whey protein. Not just any whey protein. And not just egg protein, but not whey. Egg and casein protein. That's right, man. A we blend. rock with a blend. We go with a blend. Why? Because uh, it keeps protein synthesis flowing throughout the day. It doesn't just hit you up once with a 30 minute. Yeah, like whey gives you a spike yeah. of protein synthesis and a, like a very fast drop. And like casein is a slow increase of protein yeah. synthesis but prolonged. So you try the two of them together, you get a spike from whey and then the prolonged protein synthesis from casein and from egg. It's egg, also egg's like a medium, medium, medium digestion, which kind of just. Yeah. Buffers along. So a blend is best for protein. Yes it is. Alright, also getting... Ah! Alright, that wasn't supposed to happen. You ready? Take two. Alright, take three. Getting the apple. Right. There we go. 
Put in polyphenol gains. Polyphenol. Okay. Polyphenol gains going on right here. Is this going in the apple? Pink lady. Zoom focus. Pink lady. Our sing is a song. Who is your favorite member of New Element Fitness? Niall? No. Oh, that was Niall. Yeah, see? Oh, man, oh yeah! I took a pill in Ibiza to show Watching our own video, man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah cut. Bit of pre workout. Watching your own video. Oh, man, do you want to explain the situation? So, the battery. The battery's running out. The this battery camera. is <clears> running <throat> out, man. Did you only charge that thing this morning, man? I did, but this is the G7X. It's got a tiny so battery. Now we need to go to Ken's house and pick up. The Canon 70D. Which is the beast. Yeah, because... Check it out, man, look. He's some got some uh, fans there, man, look. Did you check that stuff out? Our video, man. YouTube, man. Check it out, man. Check that out. Got some fans in the area, man. Training some shoulders, that's what we're doing, man. And what are we going to do? We're going to do a voiceover. A voiceover edition here, yeah? That's, that's right. right, man, yeah. A voiceover edition, because I don't really think... Well, no, we're going to do a voiceover workout now so you can understand how to do MED and make the gains. That's right, man. Let's get it on. Boom! Extended intro there, man. Was That's it? it, man. Back in the gym. Back in the gym with, with you, new well. element. That's the one, man. Right, man. So here we are doing microloading extended drop set training. That's right, MED. Man. Oh, yeah. So this is how it works in case you don't understand. As you can see, I have a white weight right at the bar there it's a tiny little plate 0.25 kg 0.25 kg man that's it so how micro loaded extended drop set training works is you're going to take a weight that makes you fail at 10 reps so when you lift the weight you're going to do 10 reps you're going to hit failure as soon as you do that you're going to rack the weight wait about five or ten seconds and do what's called a rest pause so you're going to lift the same weight back out again as many reps as you can yeah which yeah. should put you at about one or two reps as soon as you do that you're going to rack the weight get up drop 25 percent of the bar of the weight on the bar off and you're going to repeat the process again so do 10 reps when you hit failure on that you're going to do rest pause and then you're going to do that for a third time yes yeah, drop 25 percent off the bar yet again do 10 reps do a rest pause or hit failure on both of them and then you're going to do it for a fourth time as you can see here of after doing a set now i'm stripping the weight off by 25 percent and i'm lifting the weight back out again doing another set when i do 10 reps and i hit failure then I'm going to rack it and do a rest pause. So and now we know I can breathe, is it? Now I can breathe. Now you can breathe, man. And yeah. you, you want to take and explain, man, the uh, micro-loading The part. micro-loading. Okay, yeah. So the micro-loading part is just basically to make sure that you're uh, progressing with the weight. And what you're going to do is you're going to add 0.25 kg each week to your lift. And you're going to keep the same reps as you were the previous week. Exactly, man. So you're slowly going up in the weight. About 0.25 kg each side of the bar. Or yeah. about 0.5 pounds. Yeah, so you make sure you're gaining strength. That's it, man. So here you are now, pressing away, working on your yeah, weights. Man, I'm pressing away. I'm going up by point five this week because I microloaded the week previous, whereas you hadn't on this lift. That's it, yeah. So you're you're about one kilo with yeah, the micro weights. I think I jumped the gun on this, in, in fairness. Oh, now. yeah, man. You got caught yeah. out there. Big point. out, man, by myself, yeah. And That's yeah. it. Stupid mats, so yeah. Uh, I'm like, ah! <laughs> you got uh, caught out again, man. You didn't yeah. even get a rep there. Yeah, that was a uh, bad, bad set. Headache. P A T H Eric. Pushing the failure, man. Pushing the failure. That's all about. And now here he is, pushing the limitations here Good. with this weight. 1.75 <laughs> kg. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, man. Oh, I like right. Uh, this is the moment, man, where everyone walks in the gym and sees you lift. Going, jeez, man, he's, he's yeah, uh, not very strong, is he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man, you uh, get a bad reputation with that. All right, so we're moving on now to the. Uh, What's this this the is press? the side machine press. That's the one, man. So again, doing MED here. When you hit failure, you're gonna drop the weight and do an extended set, like a rest pause. You're just gonna switch your grip and make the exercise even easier. And repping new element fitness, man. I'm liking that, man. I'm really liking that. Do you like that? Yeah. Do you like my trousers as well, man? Trousers, yeah, man. Where did you get them? Bad they boys were from? sent from a very good friend of mine. Who's that, man? Christian Guzman. You are. Full of shit. Christian Gills, man, they came from the Alpha Lee uh, store, what the warehouse in Texas. Christian Gills, all that, the way to me, man. He, he that's what he said. Them bitches again. What? No, he didn't. <laughs> Christian Guzman and me are buddies. That's right. I'll just give a shout out to Christian Guzman, one of our new subscribers. 
What? That's right, yeah. What was this? Is this news to me, man? Well, <laughs> tell you how many's watching. You're full of shit, oh, man. watching. Oh, here what I am. Doing here, so we're doing the MED set here. And we're hitting the rear delt with a rear delt press. And as soon as you hit failure, man, you're doing extended set. That's the extended or set. The, part or the rest, yeah. pause, whatever you want to call it, into a front press. Yeah, which so is an easier form, yes. Yeah, we went through with the extended set here and went straight into the front press instead of just doing a rest pause. That's it, man. Make it a bit tougher on ourselves. Oh, yeah, man, because you can't you can't go too uh, easy now on these things. No, Otherwise, man, you'll you never can't. progress them, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right, man. you got to push past them current limitations. Current limitations is right, man. Yeah. So, what's going on, man? <laughs> what in life or just in the exercise? In the exercise, what man. What are we talking about what's here? What's happening right here, man? I'll tell you now, man. I'm getting some fine camera angles, is what I'm doing. And I'm pressing away. You're pressing oh, away man. again, man. You're, uh, you're not locking out at the top, man, keeping that time under tension. That's right, man, which is That's another video that Which is what makes a muscle grow. That's right, my friend. That's where it's all at, that time under tension, man. That makes it. And you know what's even better for time under tension, man? Go on. Than a Smith machine. Cables. Oh man, and you're about to see a bit of a cable exercise now. Oh man, the cables are the king for time under tension. They are, man. Say, man. And here we go. Here we go. So what are we at here? Uh, we're doing a side shoulder press side into shoulder a press. front shoulder press. Again, doing 10 reps. Oh man, that front shoulder press kills, man. The that, front? The front, when you switch it up, you, you say you switch it up to the easier exercise, but man. Ah, uh, yeah. It ain't easy now what's me, good man. here, man, is that uh, my camera work? Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, what work? Well, you know what, man? I'll give, I'll give props to you there, man. It's not too bad. Cheers, man. It's not Go too on, bad. You're, you're learning myself. from the greatest from yourself. Well, but, uh, yeah, man. Oh, oh, look at the striations there, man. Did you see that? He's stroking on that the ego chest again, my friend. and on the shoulders, man. Oh, the man. jealousy will ensue. What's happening now? So Who's I'm doing it now. On? Now, here's an MED set all in one shot. So I just dropped the weight, immediately going into 10 reps again after doing my first set of 10 reps and then the extended set. What's your favorite shoulder exercise, man? All the shoulder exercises. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I love rear delt presses, man. Yeah. Hit man. that rear delt. The weak point. That's right. Makes the friend. shoulder pop, man. You Gives want it that full rounded look, doesn't it? That's right, man. So on to yeah. the last exercise we done now. Man, upright rows, upright man. Rows. So what's good about an upright row, man? You want to tell the people. Tell the people why they should be doing upright rows. rows. I have no idea, my friend. Again. 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 What? Man, man you're not doing yourself any favors here. I'll tell you what. It's great about it, man. It works the side delt. And a bit of traps as well, man, so you're getting more bang for your buck. That's right, my friend. Do and now we're switching into a narrower grip. Yeah, man, that's it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much MED, man. In a shoulder workout, you can apply that to a chest workout. Apply that to any body part, man. Yeah. Which we are doing. Yeah. And you're going to see more of that in the next video. We're going to do chest MED style. Oh, that's going to be a good one, It's going to be a raw clip in the gym. Yeah, yeah so, so be, look uh, forward to that one, people. That's right, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Oh, yeah. Subscribe. Keep going, subscribe. Keep going. Don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss out. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Please. Please leave us. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs>